Hello everyone, this is Adam again. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. I hope all you had a chipper and blessed day. Today, I'm going to do my response video for the three awesome channels you see before you. Yes, the three awesome channels. The first one is the Autograph Fisherman John Burgess. The second is Tony Black. And the last but not least will be Baseball Card Illustrated. All three of them have got great channels, which I will leave their links to down in the description. Please take time to go check them out for me if you would. So Baseball Card Illustrated has got a contest that is actually going to end tomorrow. So if you'd like to participate, please do so ASAP. And these two fine gentlemen, I believe their contests are already over with. I just love doing RVs, response videos, and I love supporting the community. I love doing shout outs. So let's shout them out one more time. The Autograph Fisherman John Burgess, Tony Black, Baseball Card Illustrated, Go check them out if you would. Now let's go ahead and jump into the first response video and see what we got. And the first response video will be for the autograph fisherman John Burgess. And his request is for us to share 10 cards of 10 of our favorite athletes. Now I actually got a lucky list of 13 to share with y'all. So let's check them out. The first one is going to be Mr. Jim Abbott. Say what? A picture being a great athlete? I say so. Think about this man's very inspirational story. He had only one hand, and he was able to pitch in the major leagues. Not the minor leagues or some rec league, but the major leagues. And he did it at a very successful and high level, even becoming an all-star pitcher, having to pitch against people like Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, Dave Winfield, etc., etc. To me, he was definitely a great athlete. Now, the next one is going to be Greg Maddox. Say what? Another pitcher? Yes, this dude was a monster on the mound. Crafty and masterfully pitching and striking out many of professional baseball players by painting those corners like no other. And he actually defended his position better than any other pitcher ever, winning 16 go gloves. I loved him when he was a Braves for many years. Now, this next guy I'd like to share is actually a Little Rock native, is which is where I live. So he is very inspirational to me and a really great defensive third baseman, the best ever at that position, stacking up many gold gloves, uh, many all-star ballots as well. And as you can see by this beautiful picture, he has a bat in his hand. He was pretty darn good at that too. All right, the next one on my list is going to be Ozzie Smith. Look at that beautiful smile. That man knew he was good, very masterfully, and AKA, quote, quote, nicknamed The Wizard, sitting there magically defending that position at a high level. And wasn't too bad doing some backflips as well. All right, this next athlete is going to be Ron Gant. He was a really great football player too, but luckily for us, he chose baseball, and he's in that beautiful Braves uniform there. This guy had raw power and speed, sitting there was able to steal 30 bases and hit 30 home runs, doing it in back-to-back -back years, becoming the first player ever to be a 30-30 guy in back-to-back -back years. Definitely a great athlete. So this next guy is going to be Deion Sanders, primetime, Neon Deion. This dude was great at two sports as well. Said so there was a football player professionally and professional baseball player. And he was the first, and if I'm not mistaken, the only player ever to play in both sports on the same day. He played in a football game and a baseball game on the same day. Definitely a great athlete. Uh, the next one on this list is going to be Dave Winfield. Said then this man was great at football, baseball, and basketball from the, uh, the stories. He was actually recruited and collegiate to play in all three sports as well. Definitely a great athlete. Now, this next selection on this list is probably the most famous two-sport uh, player of all time. Bam, Bo Jackson. Y'all already know the story and definitely deserves to be on this list. So the next selections on this list is going to be some of my favorite center fielders of all time. And I think center fielders are always great athletes. Just looking at them gracefully chasing down uh uh, balls that you think are going to fall into the outfield and somehow get them and then going climbing a wall and stealing arm runs and so on and so forth. So my first center fielder on this list is going to be Andrew Jones. 
the first ever at that position, if I'm not mistaken, and the only one ever at that position to win 10 straight gold gloves. And I love this card. love that beautiful black and white photo with that blue ink on it. And check out that. It is a one of one. My next center fielder that I wanted to put on this list is the kid, King Griffey Jr. And once again, after just naming his name off, I really don't need to say much more after that. We all know he deserves to be on this list. Now, you can't talk about center fielders without putting this guy on this list as well, Willie Mays. To me, the best center fielder of all time. And just look at some of his highlight films, and you would know why he definitely deserves to be on this list. Now, i got two other players and two other cards to share with you all to round this uh, RV out for the autograph fisherman, John Burgess. And the next card is going to be Mr. Gale Sayers. This dude was a monster. I just loved watching him uh, sit there and uh, play. Sit there and didn't get to watch much more than just some highlight films and stuff because it was pre-me watching football. But, man, this guy could run. Sit there and could run. So, last but not least, the GOAT, Michael Jordan. Man, this guy could sit there and just elevate, defy gravity. Sit there and his airness. So this is my response video for the autograph fisherman, John Burgess. Please go check out his channel and let's come right back and we'll sit there and do the next response video. And the next response video will be for Tony Black. And his request is for us to share two encounters slash stories that we've had with professional athletes. One being a positive experience and one being a negative experience. Uh, and also to sit there and talk about what would we do if we had the Stanley Cup in our hands for a certain period of time, just a brief little period of time, what would we do? I would share that after I share the stories with the two athletes. Now, my positive experience is going to be with Mr. Anthony Lucas. I met this man through my job doing lawn care work on his yard. Uh, we got to chat it up a little bit the first time I met him. And sat there and told him my name. We uh, just chatted about my family a little bit and so on and so forth. And then the next time I met him, he sat there and basically called me by my name, sat there and uh, asked me about my dad and called my dad by his name and so on and so forth and just uh, knew the story, just remembered it like it was uh, yesterday that we talked, even though it was probably three to six months down the road. Uh, that meant a lot to me. But then I met him actually a few years later at a, a Razorback game since he was a Razorback alumni, as you can see from this picture. And he still knew my name and sat there and still knew my dad's name and, and our stories and stuff like that and asking me how he was doing and whatnot, even though I had never seen him again since that time, the second time that I met him. That just meant a lot to me that he would remember my name, remember my dad's story, remember my dad's health concerns and so on and so forth. Wow. Definitely a great man. I sit there and very blessed to have got to meet him. Now, for the bad experience or the negative experience, now me being from Arkansas, I really don't have a negative experience or whatnot uh, to speak of. But in honor of Tony Black, with him chatting with me in my chats a little bit through my TTM videos, for some reason, I'm under the impression that this guy here, even though I've never met him, so I don't really want to badmouth him, but uh, Mr. Tony Black sat there and has uh, conversated with me that this guy is not a positive guy, but a negative one. So uh, that being sat there and said, in honor of Mr. Tony Black, I would like to sit there and nominate him for a negative experience. No negative stories per se for me, but just in honor of Tony Black. Now on to the Stanley Cup. What would I do if I had the chance to have the Stanley Cup in my hands only for a brief moment. Of course, I would do the uh, picking it up and holding it or whatnot, hugging it. Don't know if I'd necessarily want to kiss it or drink out of it or whatnot like a lot of people do, just because you know how many mouths and this and that on. I know they probably clean it really well. So I, I don't know. I really don't know what I would do. It's just like one of those moments, you know, what would I really do? We don't know until we kind of end the moment per se but I definitely would cherish it and take pictures with it for sure. So that's my response video for Tony Black. Please check out his channel, and we'll be right back for Baseball Card Illustrated.
And to wrap up this response video madness, we have Baseball Card Illustrated. And their first request is first just to congratulate them on their 500 milestone. Well deserved for sure. And the second request is for us to basically share a PC player that we have of a no-name type player. And I really don't collect a whole bunch of no-name players for sure. But uh, Bronco reminded me, hey, you can pick somebody like Jeff Blauser was the name he threw out there. Basically like an Atlanta Braves, uh, you know, uh, no-name type player. So that's the route I did decide to go with. Of course, I didn't go with Jeff Blauser. I chose Dion James. And as I trying to do my uh, Atlanta Braves PC uh, TTM autographs. I got quite a bit already back in the mail autographs. So I'm going to share those with you. I got the 89 Fleer sign in the Braves uniform. I got this beautiful 88 Donneras signed. I got the 88 Donneras signed twice already. I got them on the 88 tops. I got them on the 88 score. Got him on the 88 Fleer. And now he is on the 91 tops in the Indians uniform. So as I still have some of his cards, as I've been sending out some of the Braves, I've sent out some of these as well. We got him on the 90 Donruss, the 90 tops, uh, the 85 uh, tops, and the 86 tops from my uh, 86 top set. So that is my little PC collection of Dion James. So, uh, Thank y'all all very much for tuning in for these three response videos, this uh, mega uh, response video uh, madness here. And uh, please check out all three of these awesome channels. All the links, once again, remember, are down in the description for you to check them out. Please take care, stay chipper, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.